<laughs> you can't laugh already. <laughs> Nothing's happened. Because <laughs> it's, it's, it's calling itself... <laughs> It's calling itself Guy, Guy Ritchie's, Ritchie's The Covenant, Covenant which means <laughs> this movie must suck. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's just like... <laughs> I mean, when you're trading on the director's name in the title of the film... And I can't even think of any good Guy Ritchie They didn't movies. even call it Steven Spielberg's The Fablemans. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I can't, yeah, I can't actually think of, though, like a good Guy Ritchie movie. Uh, I would have to look up his movies. Uh, I'm sure I've seen him. Is he the Ocean's Eleven? Did he do Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels? Was that guy Richie? Yeah, but we still haven't named a good movie. If even if he that did, that was fine. That was a fun one. No, I like no robots. One. Lame. Sure, zero. super lame. Zero. Uh, but what are we watching? Guy Richie's The Covenant. Guy Richie. We were a little covenant. subtle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not just anyone's The are Covenant. Are there any other titles where they do that? Where they put like the director's name? Not usually the right. I don't know if about the director. I know the sometimes they'll do it with like authors. Like Bram Stoker's Dracula. Yeah, or Mario uh, Pugliacci. Yeah, Mar 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 Mario Pugliacci's <laughs> The Godfather. Leonardo. Make him an offer. <laughs> um, but, uh, <laughs> but Guy Ritchie, I am Pagliacci. Um, <laughs> no, right. I don't know. I don't He's know. He's not going to be as Ritchie at the end of this movie, is he? Who knows? Uh, let's see. Uh, anyway, let's uh, roll that beautiful bean footage. I didn't notice I didn't screw it up that time. <laughs> I'm very proud of you. Oh, well, trailer really start. Oh, no, it's not the trailer yet. Trailer will start right now. Ooh, a lion. Sticks! I love sticks. The jig is, is up, the news is out. Guy Richie's Covenant. <laughs> oh my god. They're gonna kidnap Jake Guylen Hall and he's gonna have to build a suit of armor. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I remember this movie. I believe, Iron Guy. I believe it was called The Guy Richie Who Won't Stop Making Movies. Oh, he wants his job. <laughs> I need the money. Joe Rogan! <laughs> he's working again, <laughs> finally. <laughs> Okay, so this is obviously what during the, um, so this is, this is Taliban. Afghan war. Vietnam. Taliban killed his son. Okay. <laughs> so it's a revenge movie. We don't want to go okay. down this road. You're out of your well, yeah, but so they don't went down go the down road. the road. Go yeah. somewhere else. Yeah. Well, they're not in helicopters, so you're in a vehicle, you have to go down roads. Okay, we already saw this part of the trailer, Yeah, this was in the man. beginning. And wait. He went, he got hit wait again. Fool me once, shame on you. Wait, didn't they show that sequence after it says the trailer starts now, though? Or was yes. that the part that starts before? I don't remember. They, they showed it twice, so maybe it's like a Groundhog's oh, Day loop. I don't think so. Yeah, it is. It's live, die, and repeat, but with Jake Gyllenhaal and the Taliban. It wasn't enough for him to carry me across Live, the die, live again, <laughs> eternally in heaven. Ahmed and two smoking barrels. <laughs> I should be in that hole. But because this guy saved him, I get the storyline's difficult to follow. It, it's hard for me to it's hard for me to understand the arc of the Covenant. There's a hook in me. Nice. <laughs> I'm gonna see him in trouble. Oh, oh, seven years bad luck. Oh, I get it. So they're not granting him extradition. So Jake Gyllenhaal is gonna go in and heist Ahmed and his family. Oh, it's a heist movie. I, I, because Guy Ritchie's known for like movies where people steal things. Yeah. And up until now, I thought they were just going to steal my time. <laughs> All right, we need a Chinese acrobat who can fit into a water bottle. Mm -hmm. We're going to send that their way. We need the most attractive woman we can afford. Get us Julia Roberts. Uh, I'm sorry, sir, but this isn't the late 90s anymore. I said what I said. Boom. So thrilling. Thrilling. I wouldn't be. Jarhead 2. Yeah. Jarheader. <laughs> Jarhead, the final chapter. <laughs> Jarhead lives. <laughs> oh no! no Jarhead takes Manhattan. <laughs> Guy Ritchie's The Covenant. <laughs> oh, directed by Guy Ritchie. You know, that explains a lot. Uh, I wonder what Covenant he had to make with the producers <laughs> to make him. Well, it is kind of a heist movie, I guess, but it doesn't look very funny. No, it doesn't look very interesting either. It really feels like it's going to be dull. I mean, I kind of like war movies. Did Guy Ritchie, if Guy Ritchie wrote a stage play and they're adapting it from his stage play, that's another time when they put people's name on front. It's like Saving Private Ahmed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Find enemy lines and get him out of there. Wow. Because <laughs> Owen Wilson was behind uh, enemy lines, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah I remember yeah. that. Um, remember Enemy at the Gates? <laughs> Wait, that was a to... sniper movie. Yes, it was. Yeah, I remember that. Um, that was based on the book War of the Rats. It was a pretty good book. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and that's something you just learned, internet. There, there you so, go. <laughs> actually, they already knew uh -huh. that. That's true. Uh, 
I probably, I don't probably won't see this. And it no. would have to be a hell of a rainy day, man. Um, and I, and putting Guy Ritchie's name in the title is really annoying. Actually, if the, if I didn't know it was a Guy Ritchie movie, and it was just like Jake Gyllenhaal in a movie where he goes to like rescue a guy who saved his life but couldn't get extradited, I'd be like, okay, there's a movie there. But the moment I see Guy Ritchie's name, yeah, the tone shifts in my mind of what it's supposed to be. I don't think it's doing this movie any favors. It, it could be good. It could be. It could be good. But it, to me, if it was good, you this was clearly called the Covenant for a while. And then they were like, it tested poorly, and they're like, let's call it Guy Ritchie's I think so. The Covenant, <clears throat> and that might sell tickets a little bit more, because it probably will try to go to theaters. Guy Ritchie's starring Jake Gyllenhaal in <laughs> The Covenant. <laughs> Warner Brothers, MGM's The Covenant. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'll probably pass this one. Uh, any final thoughts? Uh, yes. I believe this movie will be a striking and human entreatise into our many 20-year-long wars act we said with uh, Iraq and then used to follow into Afghanistan. Actually, well, that just recently, the, uh, that uh, 20, it just got repealed, the, uh, the, the wars act or whatever it is. Thank God! Yeah. What so. act? It's a tile the president can go to war. Uh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, that's all the time we have from Maynard Banks Trailer Trash, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> hey, wait! <laughs>